वेलकम टू अवर इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी अ प्रॉब्लम ऑन थेविनिंस थेरम फॉर इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग रिलेटेड एम सी क्यूज क्वेश्चन एंड एंसर्स एंड नोट्स यू कैन विजिट दिस वेबसाइट लिंक और डाउनलोड अवर ऐप इलेक्ट्रिकल डैश इंजीनियरिंग डॉट ऐप द लिंक ऑफ दिस वेबसाइट इज इन दी बायो ऑफ दिस चैनल ऑल्सो यू विल गेट द वेबसाइट लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन क्वेश्चन फाइंड द करंट इन टेन ओम रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द सर्किट शोन इन फिगर यूजिंग थेविनिंस थेरम नाउ हेयर फॉर दिस सर्किट वी हैव टू फाइंड द करंट थ्रू दिस टेन ओम रेजिस्टेंस बाय यूजिंग थेविनिंस थेरम सो सोल्यूशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल टेक दिस सर्किट नाउ स्टेप नंबर वन इज टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ आर टी एच सो हेयर वी कैन राइट आर एल इज इक्वल टू नाउ हेयर द लोड रजिस्टर विल बी आर एल एंड इट इज इक्वल टू टेन ओम नाउ हेयर वी कैन राइट स्टेप नंबर वन टू फाइंड टू फाइंड आर टी एच रिमूव आर एल एंड टर्न ऑफ टर्न ऑफ ऑल इंडिपेंडेंट सोर्सेस टर्न ऑफ ऑल इंडिपेंडेंट नाउ हेयर If we remove this R L, so this will be, let's say this is terminal A, and this is terminal B, and we have to turn off all the independent sources. Th that means this voltage source will be replaced by short circuit. Now here, we can see that if we redraw this circuit, it will be like this. so let's redraw this circuit it will look like this this terminal a will go on this side like this this is terminal a and this terminal b will look like this if we stretch it this is terminal b now this terminal and this terminal or this node and this node is connected so let's connect this like this now we can erase this line from here now we can clearly see that this 30 ohm and 60 ohm are connected in parallel and they are in series with this 20 ohm parallel with 50 ohm so it will be r a b or we can say this is our r t h thevenin's equivalent resistance so here we can write r a b is equal to r t h is equal to so here this 30 ohm and 60 ohm are connected in parallel so it will be 30 into 60 divided by 30 plus 60 now they are in series with this 20 ohm parallel with 50 ohm so 20 into 50 divided by 20 plus 50 now if we solve this it will be let's solve this in calculator so it will be 30 into 60 divided by 30 plus 60 then plus 20 into 50 divided by 20 plus 50 it is equal to 240 divided by 7 So two forty divided by seven ohm is the value of R T H. Here we can write R T H is equal to two forty divided by seven. Now to get the precise value, we will keep this fraction as it is. Now next step is to find the value of V T H. So step number two is to find V T H. now to find vth again remove rl and find voc voc is open circuit voltage 
Now here, let's take this circuit from here again. Let's copy it from here. Now next, we will remove this RL. So this will be terminal A, this will be terminal B and this will be our VTH here. Now, we have to find this VTH. So here this will be positive and this will be negative. So we have to find the voltage at this node. Let's say this is node A with voltage VA and this is node B with voltage VB. Now we have to find the value of VA and VB. So our VTH will be like this VA minus VB. Voltage at this node minus voltage at this node is equal to VTH. So let's find the value of VA. Here we can use voltage division rule. So VA is equal to now the voltage across this branch 30 ohm plus 60 ohm is in series. So the voltage across this branch and this branch 20 ohm plus 50 ohm these are connected in series these are also connected in series and both are connected in parallel with 120 volt voltage source. That means the voltage across this 30 ohm and 60 ohm is 120 volt. So let's apply voltage division rule to find the value of VA. The voltage across let's say 30 ohm. So it will be 120 multiplied with this 30 ohm divided by 30 plus 60. So VA is equal to 120 multiplied with 30 divided by 30 plus 60. So it is 40 volt. Now we got the value of VA. Similarly, we will find the value for VB. So let's find the value for VB. Now VB will be equal to, let's say the voltage across this 20 ohm. So it will be 120 multiplied with 20 divided by 30, not 30, 20 plus 50. 20 plus 50. So it will be, let's solve this, 120 multiplied with 20 divided by 20 plus 50. So it is 240 divided by 7 again. Two forty divided by seven volt. This is the value for VB. Now here VTH is equal to VA minus VB. So VTH is equal to VA minus VB. The value of VA is forty volt minus the value of VB is two forty divided by seven. So therefore. VTH is equal to, let's solve this in calculator. So it will be 40 minus 240 divided by 7. So it is equal to 40 divided by 7. 40 divided by 7 volt is the value of VTH. Now we have the value of VTH and we also have the value of RTH. So we can draw Kevinian equivalent circuit. So it will be like this. This is our VTH. Now this VTH is in series with RTH. And it is in series with RL. So this is our VTH which is equal to 40 divided by 7 volt. Then RTH is equal to 240 divided by 7. So let's put it here. 240 divided by 7 ohm. 
and the value of RL the value of RL is 10 ohm so 10 ohm here we have to find the value of the current through this 10 ohm let's say this is current IL load resistor current so IL is equal to VTH divided by RTH plus RL here the value of VTH is 40 divided by 7 divided by RTH value is 240 divided by 7 then plus RL value is 10 now this is equal to let's solve this in calculator so it will be 40 divided by 7 divided by 240 divided by 7 then plus 10 now this is equal to 4 divided by 31 ampere and if we solve this we get IL is equal to 0 0.129 0 0.129 ampere is the value of IL so this is how we can find the value of IL or load current by using Thevenin's theorem. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching.